So today we have another question, and the question is, did Douglas MacArthur really coin the rainbow nickname for the 42nd Division? The answer to that question is yes. When America entered World War I in 1917, it had a very, very small standing army, numbering about 127,000 men. In contrast, the other major combatants in the war had armies numbering in the millions or thereabout. So if America was to contribute on the battlefields of Europe, it needed to have a larger army. So how do you go about doing that? Well, there are two major schools of thought dealing with that at the time. One is that the size of the regular army should be increased by about half a million men. The other school of thought, favored by then Major Douglas MacArthur and then Secretary of War Newton Baker, was to draw on each state's National Guard to swell the ranks. In the end, President Woodrow Wilson decides to use the National Guard in this way. While using the National Guard solved the problem of manpower, it opened up other issues. America was still fairly regional at this point, and every state wanted the honor of either sending its troops to France first, ahead of its neighbors and all the other states, or they wanted to make sure that their troops were not being sacrificed any more than other states. So if a National Guard unit from New York was sent before a National Guard unit from, say, Virginia, the President and War Department knew that they would be dealing with a lot of either unhappy Virginia politicians who were upset that their state had not been first, or perhaps they'd be dealing with a lot of unhappy New York politicians upset about why their troops had been sent first. According to Baker, public psychology was an uncertain and mystifying factor, and National Guard politics were so Byzantine it was hard to figure out what to do. Major Douglas MacArthur solved the problem by suggesting to Baker that they form a division out of National Guard units from many different states. The division would be a composite. No state could claim that any other state had more honor, more advantage, or was sacrificing more than another. And as MacArthur told Baker, the division would stretch over the whole country like a rainbow. And thus, the 42nd Division got its nickname. The Rainbow Division would amass one of the finest fighting records of any American division in World War I. From its activation in August 1917 to the armistice in November 1918, it was in combat more than any other American division, and it would suffer 50% casualties. Douglas MacArthur would serve as its first Chief of Staff, receiving a promotion to Colonel. Promoted to Brigadier General later during the war, he would command one of the 42nd's brigades and for a brief time, the 42nd Division itself. He served in the Rainbow Division with the poet Joyce Kilmer, William Wild Bill Donovan, the future head of the OSS and the precursor to CIA. He also served with Father Francis Duffy and Charles Summerall, the future U.S. Army Chief of Staff. He served with Charles Menor, the first chief of the U.S. Army Air Service, and he also served with Cooper Wynn, the man instrumental in the preservation of Robert E. Lee's birthplace, Stratford Hall, just to name a few. In World War I, MacArthur, on the left, now a colonel, organized the 42nd, the famous Rainbow Division, made up of National Guard units from 26 states. When the division went overseas, he led his troops over the top at San Miel, and later in many of the bitterest battles of the war in which he was twice gassed. At war's end, when General Pershing awarded him the Distinguished Service Medal, he was already a Brigadier General. At 38, he was one of the youngest men ever to hold that rank. 